Welcome, this is Kevin Woodbury for Twin Suns Tutorials. Today I'm working in Adobe Photoshop Creative Cloud and I want to show you a couple of things with the Crop Tool. Uh, I'm going to start with uh, showing you how to straighten an image using the Crop Tool. So the first thing we'll do is go over to the left bar, uh, which is the toolbar, and we'll go down to the fifth icon, which is the Crop Tool. And when I hit on the Crop Tool, I get a menu um, at the top of the screen. And I'm going to go a little bit out of order in terms of explaining this menu. But the first one I want to talk about is the Delete Cropped Pixels. Um, for reasons I'll explain as we go further, I want to make sure that this is unchecked. Um, and what this does is, if I go ahead and crop this image, and say, okay, I only want a portion of this image. Um, the system will delete that portion I didn't select if this is checked. And for reasons I'll show you, it's not the ideal, and I, I recommend against it. So please make sure this delete cropped pixels is unchecked on your screen. The second thing I want to show you is how to straighten an image, and it's pretty straightforward. If you look about midway on the bar, there is a little icon that looks like a level with the word straighten next to it. I'm going to click on that icon, and my cursor will turn into a crosshair with a little picture of a level next to it. And what you want to do is you want to take that crosshair and you want to put it on the horizon, in this case between the trees and the grass. So I'm going to go to about here and click and hold, and I'm going to drag this off to the right, and as I drag, notice I get a line that kind of follows me. Um, I'm going to take this line and I'm going to lay it down right on the horizon between the grass and the trees a little further to the right. And when I let go, it straightens the horizon. Now this didn't do the best job in the world, or I didn't do the best job in the world. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to do it again. And so... And that's a little better. And you can tell by looking at the crosshairs on this rule of thirds grid. Um, and you'll see that the horizon is somewhat uh, in line with this. Now the other thing I could do is, if you notice when I move my cursor outside of the cropped box, I get a little, um, it's a symbol that kind of rocks back and forth. And I can actually move this grid to be a little bit more um, level if my eyes were better today. And that's probably uh, pretty good right now. So those are two ways you can level um, an image. And when you're done, you got to click on this check mark and notice that the uh, area that was not selected is gone and I get an image that's now straight. Uh, now just to demonstrate this uh, delete cr uh, cropped pixels if I go back to my crop tool and I click on any one of these uh, pull bars that's uh, located at each corner and about halfway through along the top and on the sides, I'll get this, this grid back. And notice that outside the grid is a darkened area which is the original image. Now if I had clicked on that delete cropped pixels, that wouldn't exist any longer. Uh, so I wouldn't be able to do anything in terms of going back and moving this around a little bit. Um, that would all be gone. So just so you're aware of what that does. Now notice um, when I had this crop mark um, selected and I had this grid up on screen, I can click anywhere in this picture and I can click, hold, and drag either left, right, up, down, and the picture will move along with this. And this is great for positioning it within the rule of thirds in this particular case. So I'm going to take the house, which is not really the subject, but I'll pretend it is. And I'm going to make that, um, I'm going to put that right on one of the power PowerPoints within this rule of thirds grid. And then I'm going to say OK. And there's my image that's been cropped and straightened. Now, a little bit more about cropping. Um, when I hit the crop tool, and this is very important, if I click anywhere on one of these tags, again along the side, along the top, um, I'll get my rule of thirds grid, but I can change that. If you notice next to the word straighten along the top, there's a what, what appears to be a waffle almost um, 
icon. If I click on that, I'll get a couple of different other choices from the rule of thirds. The one that I want to kind of show you is the golden ratio. Now the golden ratio, you can look it up if you're not familiar with it, but it's going to be a little different than the rule of thirds in that it's not equally spaced left to right, top to bottom. And I can also do uh, the golden spiral, which is a very handy thing because it's very hard to, to um, look at an image and say, yeah, this complies with the uh, golden uh, spiral um, compositional tool. But now that I have this overlay, I can actually do that. Uh, now, in this particular case, it doesn't apply to this image. There's no way I can really... Uh, I actually could, but I'm not going to go through the effort of trying to make this comply with that. So I'm going to go back to my uh, rule of thirds, and I'm going to say, OK, I'm done. Now, that's two things that are pretty handy with this, with this crop tool. One is to straighten it. The second is to use this compositional guide uh, to do any one of these diagonals. You can do uh, diagonals if you happen to like um, diagonals. And notice now there's diagonals. You can make this a very dynamic image by, by turning everything dynamically. Uh, but again, I'm going to go back to rule of thirds. And since this is all selected, I want to show you now how to change the size of this box. Now there's a, a number of ways I can do it. First way is just grab this um, corner, um, hold down on my shift key, which allows me to make this a proportional crop. And I can drag it downward, I can drag it upward, I can move it around any way I like. But whatever I do, as long as the shift key is down, it's a proportional resizing. So say that's something, I want that. And now I can click anywhere in here, hold down my mouse button, and move this so that the house is again on that PowerPoint. And when I'm done, I click on the check mark, and it says, OK, you got a newly cropped image. But if that's not what I want, I can click back on here, click back on there, and I can go back up onto my um, toolbar along the top. And notice right now it says ratio. Now I can change that to height, uh, width and height and resolution. And I can say, notice I get, I get two boxes. And I can say I want this to be 16 inches in width by 20 inches in length. Um, now it's going to be a, a, a weird proportion because the screen is so small. Um, and I want this to be 360 dots per inch. Now the 360 dot per inch represents what my printer is capable of printing. If I had a printer that was only capable of 240, that's what I would type in there. Um, but say this is not the proportion I want. Say I want to reverse 16 and 20. Notice in between the 16 and the 20 there's two arrows kind of pointing in opposite directions. If I click on that, that reverses it. Um, and I actually like that orientation better. But notice that if I were to accept this, see this tic-tac-toe board, if you will, or this checkerboard um, along the bottom and the top uh, edges of the picture, I've got to drag this down so that that's inside the picture frame. Otherwise, I'll have um, part of my picture chopped off. And so I'm just grabbing uh, the corner, clicking on it, and dragging it up a little bit. So now I can say, OK. And now I have a picture that is um, 16 by 20, which is rather large. Say I don't want that. Say I want to do something different. So I'll click on this. I'll go, and I want to do um, 5 by 7. So I'll do a 5 by 7. Um, say I don't want that, I want to reverse the 7 and the 5. I simply check these two arrows in between and it reverses them for me. Um, and if I don't like that, I can go down and say I want an 8 and a half by 11. And it does that for me and again I can reverse it. So there's a lot you can do using this toolbar up here. Now the other thing you can do is if I right click on my mouse, I get pretty much the same stuff that I get along the top, and it's just a little easier to work with. So um, I'm going to say I'm going to do a, um, let's see, I don't want any of those. I'm going to do a one by one square. 
uh, that puts me here. Now there's no way I can reverse the one by one square here, but I can click on that box where it says one and I can change it to two. And then I can click here and change that to two. Um, and now I have a two by two box, even though it doesn't look quite right, but I think it is. And I can say, yes, that's what I want. And it'll bring my screen back after cropping it. Now I can reduce this in size by holding down the command key and hitting the minus sign. And that is a two by two uh, square box at this point. Notice, however, that I really should go back in and I should click on the, uh, on the um, crop tool and drag this down just a little bit so that I don't have the tic-tac-toe pattern or the, not tic-tac-toe, the uh, checkerboard pattern, which basically is a transparency that's showing, saying there's no image there. And I click and I get my two by two and that's the image. So I hope that made some sense. Um, for Kevin Woodbury and Twin Suns Tutorial, I hope uh, you can work with this, ask questions if you have any, and I'll see you next time. Take care.